Hey, hey, welcome to another episode of Mikey's Video Game Madness. Today we're playing Borderlands Game of the Year Edition on the PlayStation 4, but it's actually being played on the PlayStation 4 Pro. The card I'm, or the capture device that I'm using probably makes it look like a stream, so I don't know how well you could tell if it was on the PlayStation 4 Pro versus just the PlayStation, the base PlayStation 4. But apparently this has upgraded textures from the original version. I never played the PC version, so I don't know how well that looks based on comparison videos. It's apparently better looking um, than the PC version. This runs at 60 frames per second. It does dip. You can tell that it dips because there is a lot of unfortunate screen tearing in this particular version at least the playstation 4 version um the playstation 4 pro version let me be specific it might run better on the playstation base i mean because on playstation 4 pro it's running at a higher resolution and i apologize if i choke i post nasal drip the allergies my allergies this year not only do they increasingly get worse every year but the pollen has been especially bad this year, so I can't tell if my allergies have gotten a lot worse this year, or is it just because of the pollen? Um, so, there's a lot of screen tearing in this version, which is really strange to me, because there was also a 4K upgrade on the Handsome Jack collection, which I did a stream of. I might do a regular video of that at some point. And you're like, this is Borderlands. Like, what hasn't already been said about Borderlands? Well, it's my channel, and it's my take, and it's whatever. Um, I tried to make a non-related video game video, and, like, almost no one watched it. So don't say I tried to do some new things. I don't think it really matters at this point. I think my channel gets lost in obscurity of... Um, YouTube or whatever, but I tried to do that. I thought that would be interesting, but apparently nobody watched it. Not that I'm complaining. I'm just saying, like, um, I felt this was actually an interesting video to do, but I do try to do different things. Um, I didn't p post a video last week, A, because I was kind of depressed and discouraged, and B, because I was hoping that if I didn't add a video that more people would watch it. I went through hell. My actual uh, memory card reader on my PC is suddenly not picking up on memory cards anymore. I heard it might, well, I read, I didn't hear. I read that it might be a Windows 10 related issue. Like I, I have a, like an onboard memory card reader and it reads super fast compared to using the USB port to actually um transfer the data but then i went like when that didn't work i tried to do it through the camera apparently it doesn't pick it up on my um newer camcorder so i had to use a different one which ironically it picked up on those videos thank goodness because i spent quite some time doing it but i was like up to like two or three o'clock in the morning trying to get this video made it was a bitch not only that, I was trying to draw around the tripod, like, um, I need to go to a chiropractor or something, like, honestly, I just need to get, like, suck it up and get a new bed, like, I think part of it's the mattress, but my carpal tunnel's been acting up really bad, and it goes, carpal tunnel, it's not just in your wrist, it starts, like, at your wrist, because the three fingers that it's affecting are the exact fingers that carpal tunnel is but it goes from the wrist and into the neck and my neck's been hurting really bad apparently i'm getting old yesterday i found like a white hair i hope it's a, f a s fluke because i haven't had any other white hairs but it was thicker than the other one and it freaked me out and i'm like oh i'm getting older and my life hasn't even started yet and then i was starting to have a nervous breakdown about that but anyway yeah so um today i'm playing borderlands um i don't like borderlands on the playstation 3 all that much because when i got borderlands 2 and i was kind of wary about getting borderlands 2 um i traded in 
Borderlands 1 because I like Borderlands 2 more and the reason for that is I feel like Borderlands 2 you don't have to grind that much and these t in this type of game I don't mind grinding and leveling up but they but when you have when I have to go around and grind a bunch of low-level creatures when there aren't like a huge variety of enemies and it's just taking forever like that's where I kind of draw the line I think Horizon Zero Dawn is an amazing game but I don't think they give you enough experience port points for the type of game it is like I don't mind um, grinding and say JRPGs for some reason maybe that's a biased thing because of the type of genre it is I come to expect it but for an open world game where it's like a real-time battle system. I want my hits to feel like they count. And when I'm shooting something 5 billion times and running out of ammo before I actually kill the damn thing, it starts to become a little bit frustrating. And like Horizon Zero Dawn's a game I really want to love. Um, I would like to get the strategy guide. Like I hate the the online FAQs if I don't have to use them or is it FAQs or facts I don't know what the proper terminology is if I have to say it out loud I live in isolation so I read everything so when I'm reading it to myself like I don't have anybody like correcting me so feel free if you want to do that but anyway um yeah like there's all this I feel like I'm not going to the right place or missing something because there's all this leveling up I still need to do the complete other quest or I'm not doing something right and I'm not the best at video games but I don't think I'm terrible where I don't know where I'm doing like like an older person getting into video games or a younger person getting the video games for the first time it doesn't matter anyone getting the video games for the first time I don't know why I need to put age in that description but anyway, um, I don't know if I said it before, let me backtrack because I think about three things at a time and I only tell you one time and sometimes I switch rails and I forget where I'm going. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm trying to sound more upbeat in this video even though I sound like shit. I was watching some of my other videos and I was like, man, these videos sound morose as fuck. Like I, I sound like after I'm done this video, I'm going to go and try to drown myself in the toilet water in the bathroom. But and then I looked at like earlier videos when I was starting, it was like more, in, they were like way more enthusiastic and I sounded more upbeat and I was like, this sounds like a different person that hasn't been completely broken yet. But anyway, so Borderlands 2, the um, 4K upgrade, even though you would think like the graphics are better because it's a newer game and it has newer fe features, I did not um, notice a whole lot of screen tearing, if at all, on Borderlands 2. And to my eyes, I'm not Digital Foundry, but I feel like the resolution is native 4K or close to native, closer to native 4K than this. Because when I look at this up close, it's not as sharp and it has screen tearing, which is really strange. I know they've added as the professional viewers would call it quality of life improvements which means you get a map at your upper right corner as you can see so clearly in this pixelated glory that youtube will no doubt compress even more um so the reason why i got this game <coughs> i'm trying not to choke even though i just choked so i ultimately failed but um the reason why I wanted to give this game another chance is that I heard that they balanced the game more. And I was like, oh, I'm curious because I really like the art style. I like Borderlands 2. It's not my favorite game in the world, but I like the universe. I like the art style. I like everything's hand drawn. I like that now that there's a higher resolution patch you can see the textures and that hand-drawn comic book quality look to it way more clearly and more detailed and i was like great because i remember the first boss having to really unload into the first boss in the game and just like running out of ammo and even the the enemies i felt like were more difficult maybe i've just gotten a little bit better 
at dual analog stick first person shooters. I think I was kind of going through, I was playing half of my games on PC and half of them not. When I got Borderlands, the first one, I don't remember. I didn't really, I don't really play video games that much now, to be honest with you. I think about playing them all the time, but a lot of times, um, I'm, I'm a terrible procrastinator. Like, I'll, I'll try to make plans for the day, and then, um, I'll try to work towards the plans, and I do my, the things that I'm obligated to do first, but the things that I want to do for fun, I tend to procrastinate on, and I really need to work on that, is to start trying to do more things that I enjoy, so a lot of times, like, if... If you ever see me on PlayStation Network or whatever I'm playing on, um, you'll notice that I'm, it looks like I'm playing a game, but <laughs> it's usually on pause and the TV's off and I'm probably wasting utilities and some poor orphan like at the electrical plant shoveling coal, shoveling, shoveling coal for no reason just to keep my poor little PlayStation 4 Pro powered on and it's so sad. But anyway, um, the balancing on this game is way better than it ever has been and I'm really digging this and it's actually making me quite excited for <laughs> Borderlands 3 because that makes me feel like they're balancing the game to be more accessible um as I've gotten older I only want my um JRPGs to be the only thing that's long and um to be honest with you like um Dragon Quest gosh it's 11 now dragon quest 11 even that has been more accessible and it's still fun persona 5 um that's kind of a grind hopefully i'll be able to finish that game before i'm 50 but as i've gotten older um i procrastinate more it's, even though i have the time and that might be a symptom of depression who knows whatever this isn't a feel sorry for me video um i'll make another one of those at a different time but uh, i just don't want to spend a lot of time doing the same things i just want to enjoy the game and play the story and this is just fun there's always something to do a lot of people are telling you if you plan to play it by yourself don't pick up this game but i actually prefer to play it by myself because i feel like the game changes when you play with other people and that being said when you play with other people it tends to be a race to get loot which to me is really stressful and for me who wants to enjoy the environment in this world that's been created like i want to look at everything and then everybody's getting frustrated you can see them looking back waiting for me to follow them and they're like going and opening up everything and ransacking the place and I just don't really care about getting the best weapon, but in this kind of game, you kind of need the best weapon to survive. But it's random. Like, here, it's just more fun. I'm just taking my time. I um, sell the weapons <coughs> that I don't need anymore. I take my time and go in there. I get whatever loot that I need, and I find when, when I feel like it. And then I just go and sell what I don't need, and then keep the stuff that's more powerful or that has elemental effects. Um, much like Destiny and other RPGs, elements do have a major effect, meaning like if you were fighting like an, I don't know if there's any ice monsters in this particular game because I honestly sold it before it got terribly too far because I didn't feel like doing the grind. Um, not this one, I mean the PlayStation 3 version that I got when the game series was new. Um, this version seems great and I plan on playing more of it for sure and I hope that it stays as consistent because that will actually sell me on getting Borderlands 3. Um, but like elemental like fire will defeat ice, you know, lightning will defeat like mechanical enemies, etc, etc. If you ever played any RPG, I'm explaining Borderlands to you, I'm sure most of you have already played this game but this one is a way better balanced than the first borderlands and that was my biggest gripe i pretty much liked everything about borderlands borderlands came out around the same time fallout 3 did and fallout 3 was more rpg focused so um i thought that this game would be more action focused but it actually to me i felt like 
the stats. I apologize about the music. I thought I was going to be able to make this video before they started playing music. Ugh, neighbors, it sucks so bad sometimes. But anyway, um, now it's distracting me. I was on a roll. Anyway, or at least I felt like it was. Anyway, I just felt like I could easily get farther in the the leveling and everything. It just felt right. It just felt a bit unbalanced. And when you play with more people, the game doesn't necessarily get easier unless they have super powerful guns. It just, because the uh, the enemies basically their stats will raise with the more people that you play with. So it doesn't really make that huge of a difference. And then it's more of a rush to get loot. What's cool, what I heard about the multiplayer aspect of Borderlands 3, and thank goodness you can play it solo as well. I was kind of concerned, like not that I'm completely against online games. Like I really enjoy um, Battlefront, Battlefield, and um, The Division 2. And Destiny seems like a cool game, although I wouldn't get much into it. And this is a controversial opinion, but from what I've played of um, Anthem, I couldn't think of it right offhand. That actually seems pretty good, despite what the press says. I don't really listen to people. Honestly, I'm that person that's going to play a game if you tell me it's terrible. Just because I'm curious. It's like a car wreck. I can't look away, but nine times out of ten, a lot of times I end up enjoying that. Maybe that's just the rebellious side of me trying to convince myself to like something. I don't know. But um, what's cool that they said about Borderlands 3, which they actually did with Resident Evil 6, with the, which was my huge issue with Resident Evil 5, with playing with two characters at the same time. On Resident Evil 5, when an enemy would drop weapons, you would have to just decide who gets what. That's why there's such a race when you play multiplayer Borderlands. But in Borderlands 3, apparently everybody will see their own individual loot. So even though, like on the player's screen that's playing online with you, they grabbed all the loot, you'll still see loot on the ground, even though they think that they picked up everything. Everybody gets their own loot in their own game, so it's not a rush anymore to get the best thing, because everybody will, I guess, you'll get the same stuff. I don't know if that part actually gets randomized or what, but somebody can't take something from you unless you, like, agree. I know people can come up to you and ask, like, if you want to trade loot and stuff like that, but... Personally, I prefer Borderlands as a single player experience and I think it's more fun that way. And this 4K edition looks pretty nice. It runs at 60 frames per second. Now, obviously you'll see whether I do it or not. I'm debating on faking the 60 frames per second just so you get an idea of what it looks like by adding an extra frame, kind of like how the TV does when you switch it to uh, 120 hertz, which is also what some might consider the soap opera effect, but um, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably do it, to be honest with you. It might make it look shittier, but it's whatever. Um, I, I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like. I guess as long as you have the bandwidth. I know some people might not be able to stream at 60 frames per second. Um... Which is why we should not have streaming. Everybody's worried about streaming, but that would be such a bad idea right now with everybody's um, not everybody not having really good internet and data caps and everything. It's so expensive. Like internet, I don't know. It should. It's like a utility, but there's just like all these companies like have a monopoly on. It's like if I. I moved in somewhere and I wanted electric instead of going to the only place that you're hooked up to it's like you get to pick what who who provides your power it's just so weird like internet should be like I don't know it should be a utility that everybody has and I guess technically at least here in the US you can go to a library or whatever and get internet for free or free wi-fi most of the places that have free wi-fi they expect your business that's why they have it like cafes stuff like that they want you to buy a cup of coffee or whatever but like even to apply for jobs pay for bills and stuff like that like everything so internet 
heavy and I, d I honestly don't know how my grandmother survived to 2015 when she unfortunately passed away like I I think she she got out of the game of, like I, I wish she would live forever but I'm just saying like I think she got out of the game before it got super dependent on electro electronically otherwise she'd probably need somebody to to use the internet for her but i actually got the physical version in the u.s this is apparently a gamestop exclusive this was very difficult to get a hold of um because they announced it so abruptly and i didn't even know there was a physical copy but now they seem to have a lot so i would i would definitely recommend checking this out thank you so much for watching i hope you're all doing well and talk to you on the next video take care bye if you want to like, comment, and subscribe! Thanks for watching!